how to quickly create cute bulletin board letters for your classroom with any font and any pattern using Canva. To create bulletin boards for your classroom, it has never been easier than it has been with Canva. So here's just an example of the letter A in a cute retro flower pattern, and then also with an outline. And I'm going to show you how to do this both ways. To begin, I'm going to start a new design. I am just choosing eight and a half by 11, but you can use any size that you prefer. Then you're going to add a text box and we'll just start with the letter A. You can use any font you want, whether it's a font you've uploaded onto Canva or it's one of their fonts. So just choose one that you like. I went ahead in the text box here in the font choices and typed retro and just found one here that I liked. There's one called Nectarine that I think is really cute. So that's the letter A that I created. Make it as big as you want. And then you are going to click share and download the letter as a PNG. Now you could add all the letters you want and need for your bulletin board and download them all as PNGs at once, but you will have to reinsert each letter one at a time. So I'm going to go ahead and download this letter. I'm going to add a new page here. We're just going to click and drag it from our downloads into Canva. Now, right now, Canva recognizes this as a rectangle image. It doesn't recognize the letter A, the outline, so I need to remove the background. I just select my image and then choose background remover. Once the background is removed, we're going to go to apps here on the left hand side and we're going to look for image to frame. That's the name of the app. It's this one right here. Then I'm going to make sure my image is selected and just choose convert image to frame. Now you only have a couple of credits before you have to pay for this app, but I only paid $5. So well worth it in my opinion to create all of these bulletin board letters. Now, once the image is a frame, I'm ready to turn it into a cute bulletin board letter. You can add any type of background you want, but I'm gonna to go to elements here and I just searched for retro pattern and I was able to find different graphics and photos. So some of the graphics won't work because they're not the correct format to drag and drop into the letter. For example, this one doesn't go in there, but this flower one works. I can drag and drop it into the letter. Now photos, they all should be able to drag and drop quite easily here. But isn't that fun? You can make it any pattern, any theme that you want. Now, once you have your letter here, if you want it to have a cute border, that's really easy. You're going to add your text box and you're going to type the same letter as your frame. And then you're going to make sure that letter is the same font. So we used Nectarine and I'm going to put it behind my letter here. But first I wanna make sure I get it to be the same size and just match it up like this. And then you're gonna go ahead and layer it to the back. Then you'll click effects and you're going to add an outline and you can make it any color you want and adjust that letter A frame on top so it fits however you need. Now, if you want, you can change the color of the letter so I want it to match more here. So I'm going to change that effect and let's maybe make it this orangey color. And then I'm going to have to make sure I also change the font to that same color. So it fills in all the space, but there you have it. Isn't that so fun? You now have a way to make cute different bulletin board letters for your classroom. You can also do this with shapes. It doesn't just have to be letters. So if there's a specific shape you want, like maybe you are doing a 
holiday theme and you need a certain Valentine theme or shamrocks or you want pencils for back to school, you can change those images into frames as well. Make sure to check out the links in the description if you're interested in learning more about Canva. I have a couple different courses for teachers as well as a Teacher Author Brilliance Club if you're interested in learning how to take these skills and use them in creating resources to sell online. I also have an Instagram account with tons of Canva hacks and tips for teachers, so make sure to click those links and follow along.